Hey everybody, it's Dave Nassani, Dave the Caregiver's Caregiver, coming to you live from the night before I fly off to Harvard in the morning at an ungodly hour of like 4 a.m. I have to get up. <sighs> I've been invited back and uh, I, I had no control over who was speaking there also. I'll be sharing the stage with Mr. George H. Ross, Executive Vice President and Senior Counsel of the Trump Organization. Most of you would remember George from the Apprentice Boardroom when someone was about to get fired by Donald Trump. Hey, Hugh. And the other person that I'll be sharing the stage with <laughs> is, uh, hey, Holly. Hey, Paul. Uh, actually, uh, a big celebrity, uh, controversial celebrity, but uh, they are known for being, let me see, how should I put this? The um, retired three-time gold medal winning decathlete, the greatest athlete in the world, and fellow entrepreneur, Gru I'm sorry, Caitlyn Jenner. So uh, it should be a very interesting trip. And I, uh, I'm i excited to be speaking at Harvard again because it's a wonderful place and it's nice to get away. Charlene is at her uh, favorite aunt's house, so I won't be leaving her alone. She does like to go to the fun, to the fun places. Hey, Paul, Holly. <laughs> um, she likes to go to Hawaii, which we'll be going to uh, in August for 25 days. I'll be speaking seven different places. I'll be uh, expectedly on four network morning shows and a radio show and a magazine and I'll also be attending a speaker training up there in Hawaii as well so that's 11 different events hi Linda so it's exciting to get away and see what God is uh, doing in my life you know taking me at at the uh, prime age of 64 years old I never thought I'd be doing this you know I thought I'd be retired by now and uh, collecting Social Security if it was still uh, solvent, <laughs> which we still don't know. I guess the jury's out on that. But I just wanted to give you a few minutes of wisdom that I had. What wisdom can I give you on the eve of speaking at Harvard for the second time? Just that expect, expect the unexpected. You know, don't limit yourself and don't limit your God because if you told me I was going to be doing all this thing, all the things that I'm doing here this last 12 months of my life, um, and this didn't just happen the last 12 months, I've been, uh, or I should say God has been preparing me for the last 10 years. Frankly, he's been preparing me for the last 22 years when I first became a caregiver. And so uh, if you told me I was going to be doing what I'm doing, even a year ago, I'd say you were crazy, and I'd say, you know, there would be more of a chance that I'd be an astronaut going to the moon. But you know what? You have no idea what you're capable of. I have no idea what I'm capable of. I don't even, I can't even imagine what's going to happen next year. If I couldn't imagine this year, how can I imagine next year or the year after or 10 years from now or 20 years from now if I'm still alive? <laughs> so, you likewise expect the best out of your life expect excitement expect adventure expect not to be bored you know how many of you guys know people my age who are who are kind of like those guys in in that movie that you saw walter Matthau and uh who's the other guy you know grumpy old men <laughs> uh, jack lemon and walter Matthau. you know i'm glad that I look younger than my age. I'm glad I act younger than my age. I'm glad I have more energy than most people my age. And, you know, I just have to give thanks to my creator. And um, some people will say, oh, well, you know, you did it. You did it. Well, you know, people can't do things without being motivated, right? And my motivation comes from a different place. So I am grateful. I'm always grateful. I have an attitude of gratitude. And I think that's what makes me different from, from most people. So my advice to you is go and do likewise. 
have my attitude, have my my um, positive, uh, the opposite of of um, pessimistic is optimistic. My positive, optimistic look on life. So I'll uh, probably do some videos while I'm in Cambridge on the campus of Harvard. And so I, this is Dave the Caregiver signing off. God bless you. Bye-bye.